huge budgets, and what's the effect then? So uh, the short kind of overview answer is the Free State Project is a hundred or million or billion or gazillion times more effective than any other pro-liberty organization on the planet uh, in the history of pro-liberty organizations. Now, that's um, first of all a true answer, and second of all, it's not the whole story. So what actually the Free State Project does is a little tiny piece of the puzzle. It encourages people who are libertarian or pro-liberty activists to move to the state of New Hampshire. So the Free State Project's budget is small, and the Free State Project's activities are primarily volunteer. The effect is really through Free State Project participants. So the Free State Project doesn't do the work that the participants do. And we have 4,000, if you want to use Jason's number, let's say 4,000 um, friends and participants, or 1,500 movers, or 17 or 1,800 in-state participants, however you want to count them, but numbers of in the thousands of people who now live here and are, let's say, full-time. Now, the, you know, at the beginning I said live life. We all have to live life, so it's not that we're actually working full-time as activists, but many of us, or most or all of us, are working at least part-time doing something. And that's not counted in the Free State Project budget. Um, you know, uh, we may work in, I, I fly airplanes for a living, and you know, Jason teaches, and so on and so forth. We all have jobs, or businesses, or whatever it is we do. And that's all on our own. If you add up the value of that, it's, it's enormous. But we don't really have any way to account for that. Um, so the Free State Project is more like it's a catalyst. And as a catalyst, it's extremely effective. Now, you could argue that Cato is a catalyst as well. They raise millions and gazillions of dollars every year. And they write policy papers and go to Congress. And the pur purpose of the policy paper is to persuade congressmen. So that's a catalyzing effort as well. And if you put us on the same playing field there, we're certainly way more effective. Um, there have been countless, again, I couldn't, I couldn't mention them all, countless changes to law here in New Hampshire that have occurred because of the activities of free staters and measuring that against the budget of the Free State Project, which is really not exactly accurate or, or fair, um, results in a pretty substantial effect. So that's, yeah. that's kind of my answer. Well, if you want hard numbers, so uh, if you exclude Liberty Forum and, and Porkfest, which are self-funding most years, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, the, the Free State Project's annual budget is about 60000 you know, year after year. Uh, compare that to 10 to 15 million for Cato Institute, uh, 2 to 5 million for Institute for Justice. I think Students for Liberty is 1 to 2 million. Josiah Bartlett Center for Public Policy here in New Hampshire is 250,000 a year. And uh, about, I think it was about seven or eight years ago, we did a study of um, local government savings, budget savings that could be directly attributed to the participation of free staters in town meetings. And that figure was in the millions at that point. That was, that was seven or eight or nine years ago. That was before the state house budget, which from yes. uh, 08, 09, was it, or 10? I forget which session it was. Yeah, so it doesn't include anything at the state level, doesn't include anything that's happened locally since, doesn't include any of the personal freedom stuff that people are involved in. So it's the bang for the buck is huge. And it's not just a redistribution of effort from other parts of the country to New Hampshire, because people get active in a way that they wouldn't have been. If you're in Texas, I'm outvoted. I can't do anything you know, that's of any significance. So I'm not going to be active. If I move to New Hampshire, I'm going to be active. Uh, and that's the case for a lot of, a lot of people who moved here. Uh, 